Okay, so welcome to West, I mean, the Futuristic Mystic. I'm Pam. Nice to see you all. About said West Virginia Windstar. Sorry, collector. Hee <laughs> hee. But anyway, there's somebody trying to start something. It might be a karmic feminine. It's somebody that you've you've learned lessons with and, and you've been trying. They um, This person tries to force theirself into your life and they're a shitty negative woman, okay? That's trying to instigate some arguments and you're like, learn to be innocent and look through things with fresh eyes. Because we're learning everything that everybody put us through. We just learned to put energy into ourselves. That's what I teach my collective, okay? But this karmic feminist, she wants to put energy into stirring up shit in your relationship. Not realizing that you're whole and good with all that you are. You face that critic on the inside of yourself. But this person... They, they they don't realize that you have ascended in the spiritual realm and they haven't. Because this is somebody that you was trying to make you feel outcasted, but you broke a generational curse with this person. They're greedy. They're, they've been using, they was trying to use you or your partner for money. Just anything that you would give them, this greedy ass person. And their first name might be Grace. And they're like, every one of us is connected. Yeah, we're all connected to suffering. But we're not all connected to doing all things for money. See, there's where you don't get it twisted. Don't come in my energy. Because, hey, spirit will make you suffer worse than we ever had to. Did you know that? That's how spirit is. Because, hey... There, there resides within me in a sleeping giant. And I have a giant counterpart. And I'm his divine feminine. And we are healed, here to help heal and save Mother Earth. And we know how to be tolerant and sit with ourselves and our actions. And that's why we're going to be people of influence in the community. Because <laughs> people like to listen to us because, you know, you've had a hard life and you've lived and you can help steer other people to their goals and dreams. See, I do that. And there's a karmic feminine trying to instigate and like be just trying to nosy into whatever you're doing. Or now they might be trying to envelop and mesh their self into your life so much they're trying to become you. But they never can be. They know that. You know, because they don't know how to step out of their comfort zone. But I do because my sacral chakra is open. I've done ascended. I've done let all that negativity go. And that's what you need to do during the full moon in Scorpio. Or, I mean, just whenever. But I know one thing, there's a foe around. And they've been trying to alchemize off of your life. And that will never work. And trying to change me or trying to change a Virgo to a light. To like you or be you, that will never work. You can't change anybody. That don't work. Okay, so there's a sudden tower coming to this queen uh, or to this person that was trying to make you stop feeling cheerful. But you, you're, you are about love and honor. And these are clowns, sad clowns. You're realizing, I know who all my enemies are and I always will. Because... I'm not all about money. That's you, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. <laughs> this is somebody who's trying to bring an old baby mama around or something for some money. This might be a family member that's trying to connect to a mother or something just for your money. That's the only reason they're a sad clown. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you're, I'm building a legacy, and you always trying to hide me. And... Uh, it's not going to work because um, somebody's going to pop over. Somebody was wanting to pop over and try to steal your riches. Maybe through stocks or through your cash app or something. Yeah, ain't that funny? But look, if you've been waiting for a sign, here it is, enemy. I've always been a constant in my person's life and with the Creator. And I'm going to get rewarded for this. Because I am a divine feminine, and I did get outcasted by my whole family. It's not a joke. That's why you won't rise in the spiritual realm. But I am. 
And uh, if you all think, if you're all waiting on me to 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 tell you all a plan, uh, no. If you've been waiting for a sign, here it fucking is, right here from the star. This is my legacy. And they ain't nobody gonna pop up on me on, on Queen of Swords with a damn kid. They ain't nobody gonna try to pop that up over here. Whoever this person is that's trying to become you, no. I help children and people, even queens and kings out here, to become more friendly and gentle. Okay? With my loving messages, I tell y'all to eat your fucking vegetables and get some sunlight. But you're gaining popularity, and the whole world knows this. And and they're realizing there ain't no Ace of Cups without the truth sword in the middle. <laughs> That's what that's what new love is. Ace of Cups with a sword in the middle. Huh. So this is somebody who loves they was loving uh what you was bringing to light and it was some weird shit about them. They loved this. I don't get it, but I know one thing. A new romantic cycle begins for you, Divine Feminine. You can rejoice. <laughs> Because you and your twin are designing, have designed, maybe you're designing your own home. You and your twin flame soulmate are going to be romantic. And all his family wants to quarrel. They're hopeful that they can start a family quarrel again. But, you know, it's just like, this is a sure sign of business success for all the judgment you had to go through. And uh, this is the final nail of the coffin. And, um... Your work makes people's heart beat with more joy every time they see it. Because, look, there's my legacy. Knights Templar, baby. See that right there? See that cross? Yeah. So there's some devil that was being shady in your energy. And they're, they're worried that death has kissed their hand. And um, it's, I guess they was trying to cause some turbulence in your married life, this karmic feminine. But it didn't bother you because you know that this person is single and they don't even know how to go after nothing. Uh, they're just trying to cause ravic, uh, wreak havoc in your life. And, you know, don't throw, don't throw stones at a glass house. Because what's coming towards you is a death. Ill luck for long years and a death if you don't move along out of my energy. If you don't move along out of my energy because I know that you always be shady and greedy. And Capricorn is helping me this Capricorn moon. <coughs> and uh, I don't have to take no actions to get accolades. People wait for me. People wait for me to send a message. And hey, somebody been waiting on a message about a death of a friend. But adjoining a death, there's a death of a friend and another death taking place. And it's somebody perched high up spying on you. Maybe somebody's trying to send heart attack spells towards you in your love life and your business. And that's just going to pop back right off at you because Queen of Swords said, 838, I'm returning it back to center. So the karma's getting returned. <sighs> Did you see that? My, oh, see, I have a sleeping giant, and their heart belongs to me. They're my soulmate, and we will always feel who's shady in the background. <laughs> and now we know that they some shady family members connected to us, and You've been going around judging me in the community, saying I was a greedy bitch. No, I didn't want to read your fucking future. Because I, I didn't want to. I done did that before. So don't go around trying to make me suffer. I never did that to no one. And you're not going to make me suffer. I know you had to suffer, but you're not meant to do this. You're not meant to do what I do. You're not the light worker, honey. So quit trying to do that. You'll never feel whole and good with yourself until you look at the inside of yourself. You don't know how to do that, but Star does. Star Queen of Swords does over here. And look, here's your fucking sign. My children know I was a good mother, and I always took care of them. They know that. They know I was always in that star energy and sunlight energy. That is my north node. That's why I pulled out. 
So uh, don't worry. This is, it says near snakes, mice, and dark side of clouds precises vexation. So they was trying to vex you in your love life. Well, we're hexing you back. Okay, whatever that means. You're gaining, you're happy and popular and you got a big heart. Your work proves that you are loved. Your work proves that you are loved and that that death death always comes around me because my grandpa died on me and my husband knows that. But there's a person of authority that drives around your house. Somebody who's trying to send towers towards you in sickness or a death. And when you move to do that one more time, you're going to get your ice caught in a trap, in your own kiss of death trap. I'm telling you now, I didn't do it quick. If I love y'all, and I'm going to get off here, I'm tired of this energy, okay? And you instigator karmic feminists, you ain't going to win against us. And my good collective, you better hit like, because them are shitty negative women that is trying to steal all of my energy because they don't know how to put the energy into their self and quit trying to fight for something over here that you'll never get. Okay? All right, Collective, I love you, and I hope it helps. And please help this channel today, and I thank you, and have a wonderful day. Peace.